if everybody's healthy, I think it will be elevated because they're going through a lot of crap in a tough situation. But listen, if everybody's sick with the virus and the Sacramento Kings and the New York Knicks win the championship, <laughs> you damn right it's tainted. <laughs> hey, listen, I tell people, hey, listen, if, 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 if everybody's healthy, they should get a chip and a half. But if we end up with the Knicks against the Suns and the Sacramento Kings and they win the championship <laughs> and because everybody was sick, yes, yeah, it's tainted. All right, Charles Barkley having a little fun there. Stephen A., what do you think? Will this NBA title be tainted depending on who ultimately wins it? Well, I completely agree with Charles Barkley here. It depends on who's playing. Listen, if, if you know uh, – uh, you know, the San Antonio Spurs or, you know, the Orlando Magic or somebody that squeezes in and wins the championship because LeBron comes down with COVID-19 and so does Anthony Davis and so does Kawhi Leonard, uh, Russell Westbrook, even though he already has it and we wish him nothing but the best James Harden guys like that, we've got ourselves a problem. But as long as the stars are available to play and they're healthy and ready to go, then it won't be tainted at all. They'll be praised uh, for, for forever because this is a hard, hard situation to deal with. For the game to have stopped for four months, for guys to get back in the mix of things, uh, for us to be going through what we're going through as a society with everything that's transpiring, for these guys to step in and step up and handle their business in that way, um, I think that you know they, they'd be tremendously applauded to say the least. But again, they have to be on the court competing. Uh, it, was, it won't work if they're too ill and they can't play. Real, I mean, I, I, he's right, but I think really what this points out is one of the issues that the NBA has with its playoffs, with its postseason, which is the best team wins. And you'd say, well, why is that an issue? Because, because that's recognizable most seasons, and even when it's not originally, you know, initially, by the time the finals ro roll around, the teams have shown who they are. You know, when Dallas uh, shocked the world and, and beat Miami, we knew what, Nowitzki's having an MVP playoffs, and they got a lot of special players in that time, cl team clutch players, and they're shooting the lights out. They were demoing teams on the way to the heat. Um, uh, when the Pistons won in 04, it, it, even that series against the Pacers, it was like, oh, my God, this is an historically great defensive team. So even when we get a surprise, it, it wasn't a total shock. It doesn't happen in the NBA. One of the interesting things about this season is we're kind of hoping in a way that we're going to see, at least I am, some kind of funky stuff, some stuff that is not so predictable and some randomness and surprises can be sort of injected into the NBA playoffs. Now, does that mean you discount the winner? Well, people will do that if it's not the team they predicted. Stephen A., I took the Clippers, you took the Lakers. Oh, believe me. If the Clippers or the, you know, play the Lakers and the, the team that loses, I'm sure one of us will bring up these unusual circumstances when we debate it again afterwards and next year. That's the nature of sport to argue and argue. It's, it's, it's like religion. You, you, base, you, you, you do it based on kind of um, belief and emotions more than logic for most people. And so... That is this, These circumstances will create dispute. Imagine if this, a team like the Celtics, who we think are live and, and would have a shot, an outside shot, but because people have been off, they don't have the legs, and because the Celtics have a really good starting five, I don't know, they're shooting the lights out, or some team's pushing the ball and other teams can't keep up because they don't have the legs. Whatever the circumstances may be, if we get a winner we didn't expect, the bubble will be used as an excuse and explanation. That's the way it goes. Well, I will tell you this. Nobody's going to buy the excuse if you're out of shape, uh, if you were rusty. Nobody wants to hear that. That's an excuse. And the reason why is because you're professionals. The season was not canceled. It was suspended. You knew there was a large possibility that you could end up returning. It's your obligation to make sure that you're ready to perform, meaning health-wise. I mean, if you get sick or something, that's different. But in terms of your conditioning, staying in shape, 
making sure the rust doesn't invade your game, etc. That's your responsibility. To me, all of that comes along with being a champion. As far as I'm concerned, it's not just how you can hit a jump shot or if you can score a layup or if you can shoot free throws. You coming in shape, ready to go, ready to run up and down the court, be in the proper condition and to handle your business. All of those are incredibly pivotal things that come along with playing the game of basketball and a pandemic. Unless, unless you came down with COVID-19, a pandemic should not have stopped you from being able to do that much. So I don't think that anybody is going to allow the excuse to be used that you were out of shape, that you were rusty to cost you a championship. If you're sick, that's different. But no other excuse. It's not going to fly. Uh, I mean, but certain styles of play lend themselves to less running around, and those styles could be at an advantage. Nobody and cares. And we'll think of up other excuses, you, me, and others, if we get a surprise winner, and maybe even if we don't. Um, but, you know, I, I COVID just... COVID-19. Lakers beat the Clippers. Stephen A., believe me, I'll bring it up next year when we're arguing about who was right this Steve. whole season and vice versa. Cool. Clippers beat the Lakers. You're going to have excuses. You know you will. I mean, and, and that goes for everybody's no, team. No, I'm not. Nope. Nope. COVID-19. If you didn't come down with the coronavirus or you didn't, like, break your kneecap, <clears throat> excuse me, or your ankle or something, no excuses. No excuses. 